So, um, we did some request merge. This one is an improvement in the output cache to create a new interface so that any 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 component in any module can provide tags for the current uh, thing that is being cached from the response cache. So you don't have, before there was a, an interface called I display something. I displayed content item handler, which would let you provide the list of content items which are rendered currently in a page, in a, in a URL. Um, but this was limiting to create tags just for content items. Now this new interface lets you create any tag you want, and it can be a content item or anything. That's better. I'll probably do that also in order to. Uh, this one, uh, validation, just some UI didn't use all the validation that some other components were using, so now it's doing it. And that's it for partial one. Um, Orchard 2. Fetch all. So this branch has been merged, and that's where that is going at this point of time. So if I look, uh, Nick is, is working on workflows. Lots of work on workflow. That's good. Um, we merged the I didn't see. Okay, we merged the templates and media. So now we can create media and templates. I will show you the, the update. Um, Antoine fixed some JavaScript. Oh yeah, it's funny. I I was like, well, it's missing a semicolon. Let me add it. Thank you, Antoine. <laughs> um, okay, so interesting. <coughs> okay, um, Jean Thierry has been now uh, updating his review based on my changes on media and templates, and this is my next next task to um, to merge his read view. Um, branch and also merge the changes or the impact on liquid templates from the templates uh, module and the view management in liquid. That will be what I will be doing uh, this week. Um, that's it, that's it. Um, Alex has been working on that, I didn't see that. Uh, fixing some bills for netcore to zero. Okay, and also Jean Thierry has been working on that too. Um, and that's it for last week. I think so. Questions before the demo? Chat is empty, strangely. Okay, so uh, demo. This should work. Okay, I'm already connected. That's beautiful. This is it. Okay, so I've been working on, I've improved media and templates. Um, it has been merged, and I also have, have some stuff that hasn't been merged. Let me show you first what has been merged. And by doing the demo, I'm sure we will find some bugs, which is good too. But Jean Thierry and Antoine found many ones that I fixed last week, so it should be it should be good now. Okay, so uh, I think it's kind of empty. Uh, something new is that now the image there is an image content item and image type by default in a recipe. Um, and the image widget is just is just an image part. So in theory, if I do new 
flow page. I should have this image widget. Okay. And it has an image, uh, media, and a caption. So I will use this as an example. I can upload media. This one is completely empty. So I will upload many kittens. Okay. Oh, and I need to select one. Okay. So um, if I say plus, I can have many. I thought I thought it could only have one. That's weird. Maybe that's a bug. But what's new is that now you can drag and drop. Well, you can reorder the images, which is better. If I give it a title like uh, kittens, and I hit oh no, um, yeah, that's the new thing. And if I hit, work. Yeah, it works. I'll show you. It's 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 fixed. Yes, it was not working last time. But it's it's fixed. Um, what did I do on that? Oh, that and also fixed. Um, if you say plus, so when you, I haven't tried that. Let's try it. If I create a new folder from here, and I say uh, puppies. Okay. So it creates a puppies folder. That's beautiful. It's completely reactive. That's very nice, and independent from the rest. Uh, you can upload files, pictures, puppies. So nothing new here, but it works well. Okay, and something from feedback is that if you try to add a folder like puppies, which already exists and will fail, you get error messages directly here. Okay, and doesn't impact again the rest of the app. It's completely independent, so that's that's nice. That works. That works well. Uh, something I haven't done yet is being able to drag and drop images from folders. It will come. It's not. It's not blocking right now. Um, so that that's good. Um, you can drag and drop, and it reflects. Um, that's it for the bug fixes, I think. And then I improved. Um, I improved the preview and now I'll click on that. So the difference now is that when you click preview, it's opening a new page. So I have this little bug here, mm. but it's not showing the page on the first um, click, but that will, that will be fixed. I fix it somewhere else, you'll see. Uh, and, and that works. So if I move it, you can see on the right, it also updates. So I've talked about it to be able to have a, it as a pop-up because if you have it on the right, first it's lots of bugs, it's 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 buggy, and and you want to pop it up because you don't have enough space then to do something else. Or so if you have two screens, like I assume many people have two screens, then you can have it on one screen and try also to resize it. So now it's completely independent. So you can put some size. I don't know, man. I really like that thing when it was built in into the main screen like i wouldn't mind an option to pop it out into the main window but but what i'm saying is that i'm well you can uh, this is a, right now this is the same behavior so you can still do something like that and it takes the same space but you have more flexibility okay what do people say nothing i kind of i i really liked it when it was inside the window but um it was I... harder and buggy What were the bugs around it? What were the main bugs that we were getting? The resize bar to handle that. Um, the the size of the images also is in, is um, is impacted because the viewport was the container which was moving, but Bootstrap doesn't support that. I could go into details, but it's like defining percentage. But the percentage in Bootstrap are for the are for the window, not okay. for the container. So it would break stuff. It was hard to to maintain and here can you, you still can you close preview can you close preview down and then hit you preview close again i just want to see something okay so the fact that it's white it's a bug i will fix i will show you where i fixed it already and you know with, with windows you type window right and then you have it docked on the right if you have one screen 
But if you have two screens, then you can have it on another screen. So you could have two preview windows open if you wanted to, for example. Um, it will, it will, yeah, I mean, you can if you have two editors for two content items. Okay. So here this one refreshes only if you change something on the page. Uh, that's okay. Um, okay, so when you hit preview and it loads up that web page, I think that we should have... Because it looked like it took quite a while to load up that page. It's so what? maybe we want something that says um, generating preview. What did you say? It was what? So when you hit preview, yeah. that preview took quite a long time to load oh, no. up. No, no, no. Maybe it's on your screen. It's like any any page that is rendered online. That's okay. Oh, really? Okay. I, I, I will. I completely... click and done. No, no. It's white here. I can't see. I can't oh, see it. I see. It's white, and it will remain white as long as I don't change anything. That's a bug I will fix. I I said it three times. Okay. Okay. Fine. And I and I will show you where I fixed it also. And you will see it's it's like I will drop one, two, three. I drop on the right. You see it. Okay. So this will be the behavior. This is instantaneous. Okay. And it's the same behavior as last time. So kittens title as you type, you see it on the right re reflecting. So. Okay. Scroll down. So if you hit publish, mm -hmm. yeah, you create a page, and this one it creates your page. There. That's we could there. Might, yeah, we could close it or and make then it gray. You save draft. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> and I don't know if it still works now. Let me see. No, it's it's uh, it it's lost is uh, the connection between the two. It's kind of okay. sad. Um, I'm sure this can be fixed. So when we're in this flow page, how do I know? How can I see my published version? The published version. Yeah, so I'm in draft view at the moment. How can I see my published? You go to content items and you save view. And what you view is what is the published item. Okay. And, and when you preview. Move... But what if I just want to. Okay. What if um, I. <laughs> and I've got my discard draft. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, totally unrated, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, good, good. Little bugs to fix, but it's in a branch I haven't pushed yet, so I will I will fix that. It's easy. Okay, so that's good. Um, I will close that. So what I did also um, this morning after Antoine reminded me of doing that in the content types. Uh, I sorry, I didn't look at the chat. There is nothing in the chat. Nobody's chatting. It's interesting. It's the first time ever. Can someone say something just <laughs> in the chat? OK, thank you. It works. Um, so uh, as Antoine reminded this morning by creating an issue, now if you go to a content type like, like image, for instance, image widget, and you edit it, you can click there. Now is edit templates now, and edit templates shows you a list of templates you can create, but not the key, just template for an image or for ah because it's injected for image content item in detail view or in summary views. So I will do um, detail view, and when I click, if the template already exists, you can edit it, or it will create it for you, like widget and that's going to score image widget, okay. It used the stereotype and uh, the type of the thing, so that's good. Um, and here now you can type something like, um, uh, so what was the, 
do we have something? Uh, content summary image. Something like this. Yes, that was that is what we used uh, last week, I think. Uh, something like this. Okay. And the new thing you can notice, Nick. Yep. Is. No. No. The preview button. Ah. Uh. And then. So are you just doing Ajax polling on this preview then? Nope. I'll tell you how I did that after. So now you see it's it appears instantaneously. Okay. This is the bug I fixed, but I didn't fix it in the other preview. And I will go to the page that we created. What was the, the thing? Kittens or something? Let me see. Um, content items. This was kittens. If I click on view, this is this one. Ah, I don't have a link. Ah, that's ah, that's um, that's a problem. Interesting. Huh. I have an what issue here. I have an issue here. That's okay. I will put it in the menu. I have no way to navigate to this page. Uh, I will put it in the menu, and I haven't tried the menu in like ages. Where is the menu? Oh, the menu is a content item. So if I go to main menu and I say add menu item, a link menu item, kittens, this URL, oh, file, publish, publish. And now if I do that, menu, I can go to kittens. Okay, kittens. And here in design templates, it lost it because I left. So content definition types, image, create template for detail view. Boom. You saw it was, it's instantaneous, like it's live, it's connected. So this is a new template. This is not what users can see. I haven't saved the template. Okay. I'm just editing it. This is a local view from my computer with what I'm editing here. It's just when I save that people will, will see the change. And we could actually have drafts also for templates if we want. So, so what here. If, if, this were, if, if, if this was on a website mm -hmm. and I hit preview and let's say Bertrand hit preview mm -hmm. and I started modifying it, exactly yeah. the same draft version. No, it's just local. It's just local. Yep. It's <sighs> beautiful. Hmm. If you want to be able to share a draft, we will do that. And we will create, we can provide a link with a preview that will be, will have a SAS, a SAS token that you can share with users. And then they will be able to see a draft without having any rights on your site. This we can do. Okay. Okay. But not live editing like this. It's too hard for the for the value. But you can save a draft and share a link with a SAS token that uh, users can see drafts before you publish. Okay. So I want. So this is the image widget. But actually, uh, I want to change um, the image itself because an image widget contains multiple. No, an image widget contains just one image. Oh, no, no. That's that's it. So here you see, I type an image is here and it changes the way it's rendered okay uh, so if i go into here that should be what i can use see where is my other window so i will paste it okay ah. maybe that's the issue mm. This is not what I use, I think, in the in the template last time. So model content item, content title part. That's a widget that I'm sure it has a title. Maybe th no, that was the image template here. That's an image template. Let's see. Cancel. Content types. Im 
image tail so now it's been so that's not him crap I don't even know what I'm doing here I think I know now content parts I don't have an image content part here okay I'm lost what did the recipe do this is an image type okay I will just create a new image just for the demo I don't have an image it's not creatable so an image widget has an image part I don't even know what it is I need to check this recipe cuckoo um, how do you close Skype oh uh, click your face And then sign out. I, That's I, I, I hate it. Okay, I don't know how to, but you get the idea. I, oh, I will do page. This this one is easier. I will try to see how to make it better. Image to make it readable. So about now, if I go to content definition types page and now I know how it works I will do the body part for page content parts body edit and I should see the same button and I can say in details view so an about uh, page is a body and a title and URL here because I'm editing body part now it's empty so it renders empty so if I say foo it will render foo and if I want the, the body actually it's model dot body it's documented, I will show you how. And as I close the braces, you see here, it's rendering the body. But the body itself is some HTML. And by default, Liquid is safe, so it's encoding everything. So it encodes the HTML so we can see the actual HTML. So what we want here is to render the raw HTML without encoding. So you do that in Liquid by doing pipe raw. And then the HTML is rendered in the page and you can see directly, okay? And this is how you try your different uh, templates so if you had fields you will do the same thing model dot content item see model dot let me show you something model dot uh, content item so here it renders nothing just content item dot content which will render the json of my content item and i can see everything i can access so auto route part body part uh, text and because it's a content item you can even say pipe display text and you'll get about which is a title of the content item okay you can customize everything you want like this and see live what it's doing or if you made the typo or if you don't have access to a property you see directly i think it's beautiful to be able to to do that on any template and then you can even navigate the site and look at that ready if i go on home the home page um, is a blog and the blog has a body part so in theory now this is the page using the same template okay blog because it's repeating here the display text in h1 of the blog here and this is the body of the blog which is rendered here and if i go to about it's weird that it doesn't re refresh itself i have to change it that's a bug it, it used to work so Something else also, like there I'm, I'm at the bottom of the page and now if I start changing something, foo, it remains at the bottom of the page, okay? Because when you're somewhere to look at the page, you don't want to go up and go down every time. So that, that's, that's cool also, I think. Um, and that's it. And then you can save and it will be persisted. Good. So some improvements on the, on the preview. Yeah, it's really cool, man.
Good. Questions? Um, so I said next week I will work on the... Thank you, Mike. You need to convince Nick. Uh, will I work on the on the liquid to uh, to make it consistent between templates and liquid views that uh, Jean Thierry has been working on. Um, what else? There are a few bugs which are triaged to be beta, so these will come first. I will do more tests also on stuff I've showed you today, like testing the, the, the shapes, templates, images, just to build some simple websites, just to see what's missing, what what's blocking us from doing interesting stuff. Um, and I think that's it. Cool. Mm, yep. Have you demoed that's... any of it internally? or? Uh... Yeah, I showed the, the live template editing experience to, uh, to Taylor. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, he likes it. Good. Yeah, and it feels the issue because when you edit a view in Razor, you change the, the file, you save, then you go to your browser and you hit F5. Okay, that's how you edit your, your views. And uh, that, that that is, I think this is nicer in Orchard to be able to li to mm. see live the templates, the feedback, the instant feedback of what you are typing, I think it's, it's very good. And it's not hard to do. So I didn't explain you how I did that. What, did you show him the liquid syntax, or has he seen it before? He's, he's seen it before, but yeah, that, that's not what's important here. Um, so how it works. So these two windows communicate using the local storage. So whenever something changes in this page, then even the name, like like you could say, if you're on a type, you can try different alternates and you will see the, the impact there. It will change live. So if I say two, did I break that too? Oh, I didn't fix it. I okay. I ah, this morning I found a bug. I didn't fix it. But this one, when it changes, logically it should also change that. Which means if you change the name here, this one, this will go back to normal. Okay. But so what happens is when it changes, every time you do something a change here, um, it saves the template and the key to local storage. Okay, and then. This window, because it's the same browser, will get an event saying the local storage has changed. It will look for the key, and if the key matches uh, Orchard templates, then it says, okay, someone stored a template in the local storage, so it reads it, and then issues. A, so this is a big iframe. So the main container page owns the website in an iframe. So the main container page detects that there is a change in this template, and then will um, set a cookie on this window and well on this session the same same browser so set a cookie with the value of the template and issue the request to the server to render the page and this specific cookie will be handled by the template the so the the template uh, shape binding with uh, shape binding resolver is the one which can provide custom shape templates, and this guy will actually look at cookies on every request. And if there is a cookie with this name, it says, "Oh, there is a custom template to render," and it will provide it to the shape provider for this request. So only someone who has this cookie and doing a request with that will then inform the server that to use this template instead of whatever is, is on the, the server, OK? And then comes back like any page will be rendered with this template. Um, and the cookie is deleted. That's the idea. So this is that for this page. And for the content item, um, same thing. It's using local storage. And instead of sending a cookie, it just gets the form from the editor and submits to custom controller that can render a content item which doesn't exist, which is just in memory, and then returns the HTML and displays the HTML. But the same story, like a container page which has an iframe, which is the full body, and um, detects a change in, a, in, the, in the admin to call a custom controller to render something. But this one is not a custom controller. This one is really the, the main navigation. It's the site 
Uh, and what the, the issue I had is that if I want to display the kittens page, um, by navigating is fine, but this URL here um, is the URL of the container. So what I will need to do is something like uh, pound or a parameter so you can paste the custom URL, which will be fed to the iframe to, to display if it's not available from navigation, from anywhere in the navigation. So that's the only uh, yeah, something to, to implement. Should be very easy. Local storage is magical. Uh, and, and it's funny, I talked with a follower about SignalR. I'm saying, no, you want, can, he said, well, you will use SignalR. I said, no. <laughs> there is no reason to use SignalR here because it's just there is no server side communication. Well, events to send is just local things to, to do. So it's better to use local storage. Oh, and um, and actually in SignalR, they were using that at some point. Uh, and I think they are still using that for some feature, communicating between two windows by using local storage. It's funny. Um, that's it. It's nice. Um, good, good. I think if you don't have any questions, then we'll end the meeting. Or any topics? No, I'm good. Yep, less work, I assume. Oh, we've had shorter meetings. Some weeks, like there were like three or four people on the meeting. <laughs> and I had, I was in vacation, so I didn't do anything. So, I mean, nothing to demo, nothing to talk about. That was very short. Okay, good. Then thanks, everyone. Uh, see you on Thursday. <laughs>